Hi, Giovanni. First of all, any injury updates? Anybody coming back for Sunday's match? Um, no, we don't have any one back from injury. Of course, we have uh, Morelos and uh, Sakala back from uh, the game from Lyon. Uh, Ryan is still out. Uh, Ryan Jack for the game, and uh, we have to assess uh, Kamar Roof. Um, it's, it's a doubt as well for for Sunday. You must in a really good place after the result last night and the players that you managed to to bring in and give some game time to as well yeah very much I mean it's um, you know it's, it was a tough match we had some uh, rotations in the team but I think it didn't change the way we played uh, the intensity we played and overall the the game plan we had so I'm very uh, pleased with the performance especially away in Europe uh, you know I think we did really well and uh, so that's uh, for me, you know, we left uh, Lyon with a positive feeling and uh, today uh, recovery and tomorrow we work on uh, our game against Hearts. So it's very uh, short, uh, short time, but uh, we will be ready at 12 o'clock on Sunday. Hi Giovanni. Giovanni, you mentioned last night that uh, Ryan has um, suffered a setback. Can you uh, tell us that it's, is it the same injury that you suffered a setback from and is is that a concern that this is happening again? Uh, well, we, we still, I don't know if it's the same injury. Uh, we had, he had a moment, uh, the last training before Lyon, uh, in the end of the session, he, he went off the pitch uh, with, a, with a problem. So we have to, uh, we still are diagnosing the problem. And once we know more, you know, we, we can tell uh, about the, um, the injury he has, but uh, so far he will not be available for Sunday, and hopefully he will uh, he will join us soon. Uh, hopefully, because he's working hard. Of course, uh, didn't have uh, much game time the la the last months with some injuries. So uh, for him personally, it was is uh, of course not a not a good moment, and for us as a club also because. We don't uh, have uh, if, if Ryan Jack to be available for games. Can I just ask about? Obviously, you're through now to the knockout stages of the of the tournament. Would you would you fancy a return to the camp now? Me? <laughs> of course. I mean, we have to wait to see the draw. But you know, if you are in this stage of the Europa League uh, and you see the teams involved in the in the draw, you know, I don't have a preferred team. You know, just wait and see. Who will, we're gonna face, but um, there are definitely some teams. You know, it will bring some some memories to my uh, to my to myself. Giovanni, hey, talking going back to the squad that you have and some of the players that you've managed to get in already, um, a player that lots of people in Scotland are very excited about is Nathan Patterson. Um, can I ask your thoughts on what you've seen so far in working with Nathan, and perhaps how likely we are to see more of him in the coming weeks? You have a beautiful dog. I see your dog coming in the screen. <laughs> I, uh, no, I'm really happy with Nathan. He's um, you know, a young player, very, uh, very talented, of course, also uh, uh, international for Scotland. And, um, you know, you can see what he brings to the team, uh, especially the, uh, the right fullback position. You know, I have two players I can, I can play there, which uh, contribute a lot for... Um, for, for this team and also his performance yesterday was, was really good and uh, I'm really happy with him and you know look, looking forward to uh, to work with him uh, for a longer time and to develop Nathan as well into a better player so uh, you know he gives me a lot of energy and uh, uh, he gives uh, you know he puts a lot of energy also in training in, in games and uh, he wants to learn so I think that's very important for a young player that he wants to improve himself every uh, every day and Nathan is definitely one of those talents. And you're obviously very early in your tenure, five games unbeaten though. What's been the most pleasing aspect of what you've seen so far from, from your team? Well, I think picking up, you know, my... Uh, the way I want to play, you know, uh, some principles I uh, I want the team to show every game, and uh, they are very open in in um, uh, uh, playing with some new ideas. I think for them it's also uh, refreshing, and uh, I think we have a you know a nice atmosphere within the team. It's a very uh, 
competitive squad we have. Uh, I think we have a good balance in the team. And, uh, you know, we just have to make sure we're working hard every training and every game to get the result we want. I think that's, uh, that's where it starts and that's what, uh, what I want to see every game. And Giovanni, Calvin Bassi put in another impressive display of sense by guest. He continues to look quite accomplished in a position he hadn't played all that much before. Do you think looking long term that could be his best position given the attributes he brings in that position? Yeah, well, I, I haven't uh, seen him play a lot as a, as a left back. I saw some footage, but of course, you know, in my, uh, my five games here, he played as a central defender. Um, so I'm really happy with him. He's, uh, he's got everything for, for a modern defender. He's very quick, he's good in the air. Physically, he's, he's really strong. And, uh, you know, we were just working on him with his, uh, with his uh, you know, uh, building up play. But uh, he's, he's a very good kid and uh, like Nathan, he's uh, open to learn new things, open to, uh, to be better every game. So uh, those uh, kind of players will give me a lot of energy to uh, work even harder with them. And uh, you've spoken previously about the importance of obviously adapting to different opponents game upon game. Given Hearts start to the season, the difficulty of going to Tynecastle, how do you and your team approach this tie at Tynecastle on Sunday? Well, like we, uh, like we always do against every opponent, <coughs> watch a lot of footage of the teams, uh, prepare the team well in, uh, in uh, having the ball and, and, uh, and also uh, defending. So, uh, you know, that can be different against every opponent we play, um, but, you know, we can expect a very difficult game. So, uh, but uh, I'm sure uh, <coughs> my players will be prepared to, uh, to face this challenge as well. Hi, Giovanni. Um, going, going back to your appointment of um, Dave Voss, where he obviously has had uh, experience with young Ajax and other, other uh, roles that he had at to come centre, are you going to use him purely for the first team or are you going to try and use his experience to perhaps um, provide some guidance to, to, to the teams underneath the first team? No, he will be. Uh, I brought him as my uh, my assistant, so he will be working uh, uh, with the first team only. But of course, you know, we are always uh, in good uh, connection with the academy, and uh, so that relationship is there. But his main focus will be uh, working with me in uh, with the first team. Uh, and also, lo looking forward, you've got eight games in December. And then you come to January, where you might possibly have um, three players away in international duty with uh, Nigeria, and particularly the back line. Does that mean psychologically you might look to play them more in December, or to try some other lineups to to get that sorted for their for their absence? Well, I think it. Uh, we we know there there is the. African Nations Cup coming in January, but uh, that's something for January. I just uh, focus on uh, the games we have with, uh, with Rangers until the 2nd uh, of January. That's now uh, number one priority. So, uh, and that's my focus. I'm not thinking about uh, resting those players because they play in the Africa Cup. The main focus is to uh, get three points every game we play with, uh, with Rangers. Thank you, Giovanni. Um, you mentioned earlier that the, the players have been very receptive to, to the things you've been telling them. What in particular has pleased you most about the way they have taken on board your principles and your ideas? I think all of them. I mean, it's, uh, <clears throat> as I said, you know, we have to be uh, playing as a team. So when we are attacking, when we are defending, I, I like to be in control of games. And, uh, you know, sometimes in, in difficult games, you don't have the control. So it's just a case to, uh, to get the control back. Uh, really, uh, <coughs> really understand the, the different uh, moments in games, uh, when to uh, attack, when to make it compact, and uh, make sure we are um, using our strengths every game and uh, making sure we, uh, we expose the weaknesses of the opponent. And uh, that can be different every game. So we, we preparing the, the, uh, the team also uh, a little bit different for every game. So 
your hatch preparation will be d different than the Livingston one or, or the Lyon one. So my players also have to be uh, really sharp in the team meetings and training sessions to be ready for the game and execute uh, the game plan. On that, what are the, the key things you'll need to show to get the win at Timecastle on, on Sunday against a team who have been playing very well? Bill? Well, I think we have to, uh, as I said, we have to be uh, very uh, strong on the ball. You know, I think this is a difficult place to come, so they will put pressure on us, and uh, which we did really well against Lyon. Lyon uh, wanted to pressure us also really early and really high. I think we were very in control by then and make the right uh, decisions uh, with the ball, so we could uh, we could. Uh, Go uh, go away from the press at, at, at good times in the, in the game, and uh, you know be defensively solid to uh, to also make sure that uh, Hearts cannot be dangerous uh, in the box. So uh, you know it's, it's, we have to we have to have a good overall performance and be an, um, at the top of our game to uh, to have a good result on Sunday.